Hey, Hello? Lisa, this, this is Dale. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah, I can hear you good. Can you hear me good? good? Yeah, I hear you. You're, you're breaking up a little bit, but I think I can get most of you. How are you doing tonight? Um, I'm doing pretty well. I'm at work. I'm on my iPhone. So it's the first oh. time I'm doing it, so um, I'm not sure how it's going to work. Uh, right there was much better, whatever you did at the very end. But, uh, it'll work great on my iPhone. I use it on my cell phone all the time. Uh, oh, okay, good. Yeah. Well, that's great. Am I, am I the first one here? You are the first one here. <laughs> <laughs> so, and, and, you know, it may be interesting because quite often, you know, these orientation uh, times, if people know how to use their stuff, they go by real quick. And uh, I have learned that half to two-thirds of the class may not show up for an orientation, but they'll be here the next week, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, that'll be good. So you you said you were at work? Uh, yeah, I work a, a swing shift. So um, um, yeah, I'm I'm kind of taking a break. So sometimes I might be able to talk. Sometimes I might not be able. To. Depends on what's yeah. happening. I totally understand. Where do you work at? Um, I work in in the uh, uh, in California. Yeah, or, or basic solutions that they uh, um, they contract uh, uh, people. It's uh, uh, um, they hire their contractors. Oh, okay. There. So I sort of lost it there. <laughs> yeah, I'm here. But yours is your your voice is sort of funny. It's like it's being stretched out mechanically. But I can I can understand what you're saying. But it's just like slowed down. So anyway, that's fine. Well, I'm I'm glad that you're I'm glad that you're able to join us and willing to take your break to do it. Yeah, I'm looking forward to doing it. So. Uh, can you see the chat down there, Lisa? I know you're on your phone, but I'm not sure if you're just uh, calling in, if you're actually using the WebEx app. Uh, uh, um, I am I'm using the WebEx app, and I do see the chat down there. So. Good, 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 good. There we go. Yeah. yeah, I have moments when you're very, very clear, just like you're right next door, then the rest of the time it's sort of stretched out. It's probably well, probably has to do. I'm really clear. I've got my arm way up in the air, and I'm doing a dance here. So no, I'm trying to find a good thing. That's really good up there. Right here. Yeah, that's great. I can hear you great. Are you like okay. standing? Are you having to stand on your head or something like that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh me. Well, that's great. So, how long have you lived in California? Uh, I'm in Texas, but. I have. Uh, I was born and raised in California, but I have been out of uh, the area a few times. I've lived in Texas. I was just up in Washington State uh, uh, for a couple of years. Uh, let me see. I lived in Germany for a couple of years. Oh wow! But I always come back to the Bay Area. I love it here. Yeah, it's a beautiful area there. So uh, you. See so you're from Alabama, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. Are you? Have you always been there, or? Uh, I was born and raised here, then was gone for about 20 years, and uh, came back a few years back. Uh, you know, I went off to college, went off to school. I was, I did that forever, and uh, then spent about 14 years in Miami, Fort Lauderdale area. Good. The video down here, or a little, uh, that video. Uh, where at? Well, it's right next to the chat icon. Oh, yeah. It, it, it may have a little video thing right there. Yeah. 
Um, we don't usually use the video because it takes up so much of the uh, space on the server, the precept server. And so we use, like right now, I record all the classes and everything. <clears throat> and uh, so we don't do that. Though a lot of times when we get done with the class and I turn off the uh, recording and people want to hang around and talk a little more, I'll turn the video on. I, I can control it from this end. And it's sort of cool because we get to actually see each other, you know, and meet each other that way. And so, uh, so that's what that's. So if I had a video set up on my computer and use video, would you, you would be the only one to see me, correct? Or would everybody? Uh, no. As a matter of fact, I can set it up where everybody sees everybody. Oh, so if I was on a video and I started, I decided to talk or whatever. Um, then everybody would be able to see me talking. I'd be like talking my computer and everybody would be talking. Yeah, but only if you wanted to. Uh, like we've done it before, like I said, just after class. And uh, there were folks that had computers that had that capability, but they just didn't want to turn it on. So you don't have to turn on uh, your – you don't have to turn on your uh, – I had one lady one time. I, I, I teach a class uh, on Tuesdays at noon. But she's in Hawaii, so it's uh, breakfast time for her. And uh, – all of a sudden, she says, y'all can't see me, can you? I went, no. She said, oh, good. I'm not ready to be seen. <laughs> I know. When I do my morning classes, I'm not really prepared for anybody to see me either. So. Right, yeah. Uh, the preparation for the morning class is stumbling in and getting a big cup of coffee, you know, not, not getting all yeah. dressed up. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. So how many people are in the class? Um, I think there's 13 people in the class, but I think that includes uh, Deb uh, Baker, who sets up the class. So there's probably somewhere around 10 or 11 uh, okay. That, okay. I, that I anticipate being in it. Good. Yeah, it ought to be good because that, that's a good size. Uh, uh, you know, some of the other classes I have have like 25 or 30 in them. Uh, but you know the deal. When you have 25 people in the class, you will probably average – what, 15 or 16 people there any given week. And yeah. uh, when you have a smaller class like this, uh, it gives you more time, a little more laid back. We can talk about things and, uh, you know, and really do what people want to do more. And uh, so anyway, yeah. we'll, we'll, see, we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah. I was going to ask you, is there anything that you're hoping uh, to talk about, uh, any questions that you have while we go through these six weeks? I know a lot of times uh, – People don't get a chance to actually get to what they wanted to discuss, you know? Um, not really. You mean like a matter for the source or just precepts in general or anything? Any kind of question? Yeah. Yeah, just yeah, any kind no. of question. Yeah, I really don't have any questions. Great. I definitely love the fact that, you know, I've stumbled on precepts online and, um, it's just so much more convenient because it's really hard to try to find a class in your area that you don't have the time. There's a class that I see is there, but it's it's started, you know, or right. mm -hmm. which I know it's okay to get into it, but you know, still so I like starting at the beginning. But this has been great because I've been able to do a few classes that I wouldn't have been able to do if um, you know it wasn't online. Sure. Yeah. Uh, I was going to ask you that. I knew that you had taken one or two classes, but I didn't know how many you had taken. So you, you've done several. That's good. Yeah, uh, good. Did it to Joshua and um, did uh, How to Study Your Bible in, in 28 Days. Ooh. That covered Jonah and uh, Judah. Judah? Jude. Judah. Yeah. Jude. Jude. Yeah. Right. Oh, that's great. Now, have you ever taught any of the classes? Ever led any of them? No, no I have not taught it. Any, but I've been thinking about, um, I live in a retirement community in Walnut Creek, so there's a lot of older people here, and um, I was thinking I would like to do a study on John and invite, you know, just people in this community. Oh, yeah, that would be that would be really, really good. Really good. It would, I think. Yeah. I've, uh, I, I actually meet in a, a retirement community like that. I've been meeting with them for 13 years, and uh, I've never done a straight up and down precept study like this, but so much of what I do in the studies I take in there, you know what I mean? And sure, uh, sure. and a lot of times people think, well, if you're in a retirement community living there, then you know everything already. And uh, that's not necessarily so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, Lisa, I see we have been joined by Marie. Marie, can you hear me? This is Dale. Or Maria, it says. Yeah, Maria. Let me, uh, I'm going to try this right here. Hey, Maria, can you hear me? She's still getting set up. Hey, Maria. Dale. Yes. Dale. Hey, Maria. Hi, how are you? I am wonderful. How are you? Can you hear me now, Maria? Uh, check now the chat there. I can hear you. I'm just trying to adjust. Yeah, both of y'all were on phones right there. And sometimes you have to make little adjustments with your uh, uh, actual phone or if you're using a headphone. Like I, I think, Maria, yours is plugged into a headphone. That's what it's showing. Yes, I'm on a headphone. Yeah. And that, that's what this time together is. We just to work out all the little bugs here. So uh, keep talking to me, Maria. Let me hear some things here. Okay. I am uh, I'm excited about the class. I have a couple of online. So have you taken one online before? I did. I took a revelation class. Whoa. <laughs> Oh. I've taken several you know, in person studies. This is my second WebEx class. Oh great, great, great. Where do you live? I'm in Columbus, Georgia. Oh, okay. You're not too far from me then. I didn't have my headphones in originally. I was trying to leave it on and just uh <laughs> mute it so my husband could participate with. Oh, I got you. Yeah, but well, yeah, you'll be able to do that. Uh, particularly once we get everything sort of set up, uh, that won't be any problem at all. Okay. Yeah, Lisa jumped off and she's jumping back on. I think she's trying to get a better signal there. So, so you're down in Columbus, Georgia, then, Maria. I am. Great, great. Are you getting any? Are you getting any background noise? I need to mute it. Uh, no, uh, as a matter of fact, it sounds like that you've got it, uh, for lack of a better term, it's really, uh, uh, it's very gated, is what the technical term is. And what that means is, when I'm talking right now, or when you're not talking, I don't get anything. But then when you talk, it will, uh, take like, oh man, a tenth of a second, and then it activates itself and it brings you in. So, uh, I'll show you, like, right now, you're totally silent. Say something to me, Maria. Early. There you go. And when you start talking, it cuts in. So that, that's great. That'll work fine. Okay. Looks like Rochelle's trying to get on with us, too. So, Maria, is your. I'm sorry, what? Oh, are we going to keep the same meeting number and password, or will it change with each one? Uh, the meeting number and the password uh, should be the same for this course all the way through. It will be different for different courses now. In the past, the passwords were the same, but now they're, they're changing them to a, a, a proprietary password for each course. So. Dale, do you know it's available in a, in a electronic status, or is it only available through Recept? 
uh, this, this 40 minute book, the one we're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Hang on a second. Uh, I mentioned this in a class earlier this week and I started to pull it up a while ago and I thought, well, wow, nobody wants that. And here you go. You asked for it. So hang on a second. Mm -hmm. I'll find it. Cause I used to have it. Is that Rochelle out here? It is. Can you hear me? I can hear you wonderfully. This is Dale. <laughs> I'm pulling up something here for, uh, I think it was Maria that asked for this. Let me see if I can make it work. Right there. Can you see that? No, but I'm not getting anything up on my screen right now. So the, oh, the you're content. on the phone. I'm on my iPad, and I think I need to upgrade my um, WebEx. App. Oh, yeah, I got you. I've got a son-in-law that's been using an iPad for some of these things, and sometimes you, uh, yeah, you have to do things like that. It's real simple. Just go to ChristianBook.com. Uh, just ChristianBook.com. And just search for what does the Bible say about sex, and uh, so you can get it there as an ebook. Uh, I'm not sure. I think you may be able to get it as a Kindle version too. Uh, I've used both in the past, and uh, for my purposes, what I do, I just like it better uh, with the EPUB version. Let me see. Okay. Uh, if for no other reason, it, it does a uh, yeah. You can get a Kindle version too. It does a uh, a two page format, and the Kindle version is only one page, which is fine. And it, anyway, it looks great on the iPad. Uh, I'm gonna throw it up here where the rest of us can see it also, in case somebody else wants to do it. So, uh, and all these little screens that I'm putting up here right now, you should be able to uh, download them or or do whatever you want to with them. So you can get a Kindle version of it, or you can get the uh, what's called the EPUB. Here, I'll tap it down the bottom. As a matter of fact, uh, can, uh, Maria, can you see the the chat down there? Can you see that pretty it's, well? It's often up and down when somebody comes on, but that's all I'm getting right now. Yeah, probably well, just have to do it on my desktop. Right here is the link to the uh, EPUB version from Christian Book. Okay. Um, you know, they, they, yeah, they really encourage folks to buy the books through Precept. And the main reason is uh, these books are actually published by Waterbrook, you know, a separate company. And um, when Precept sells them through their ministry, they get all the money for it. That's my understanding. Uh, if you buy one through ChristianBooks.com or Amazon.com, the hard copy book, you can get it for a couple dollars cheaper, but Precept only gets a, a, a lot smaller portion of, of the available sales right there. And so if you're going to buy it, you might as well buy it through Precept. What I do is I buy the book through Precept, and then I buy the electronic version uh, through somebody else that has it. Precept doesn't have the electronic version available. And you'll see next week why, because on these 40-minute things, uh, I mark them up. You know, there's no homework on this 40-minute thing. Next week we'll gather together, and we'll do lesson one together. And so um, I'll actually pull it up on the screen to where you can see it. As a matter of fact, it won't look exactly like this, but it'll look somewhat like uh, this right here. Your screen's about to change, I hope. See that right there? I do. Yeah, so that's what the EPUB version will look like. And so, okay. uh, which, which is really very useful. Right here's the first lesson uh, uh, for next week. And you just jump down to lesson two, lesson one. And so, uh, and, I, and I've got ways where I can mark it up on the computer, and you'll see me marking it as we go along. So there we go. Uh, well, good. Hey, Rochelle, are you there? Talk to us a second. I'm here. Can you hear me through this way? Oh, yeah. I hear you very well. Uh, you know, we're just trying to get all of our logistical stuff going right here and uh, just taking a moment to introduce ourselves. Uh, tell us about yourself a little bit. Um, I'm not quite sure what to say. I mean, my husband did enroll, but he's at football right now, so I'm <laughs> attending this part. Yay. Well, that's good. 
Uh, where do y'all live? We're in Ogden, Utah. Oh, okay. Great. Great. <clears throat> well, it's good to have you. So you're gonna be y'all gonna be taking a class together, kind of thing. We are. Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. That's really good. Uh, we've got several folks that do that uh, in classes. They'll have a, you know, husbands and wives, or I've got one. That they get a group together. There's four or five of them that meet there in the same room while we do class online. I just think that's the coolest thing. <laughs> It's just a lot of fun. So, so it's nice to meet you. Well, thanks. Mm. Is this your, uh, uh, Rochelle, let me ask you real quick. Is, how many, uh -huh. Have you ever taken any classes online like this? I have not. It's our first one online. Um, and I I think I've only done one, like one 40 minute one. I've done the ones that are the, the full precept classes um, here locally, but never online. Okay. Oh, well, that's great. It's, it's always good to know if people have had you know, what kind of experience or something like that. Everybody's new to the online, okay? And so it is a, uh, uh, ladies, very much a work in progress like you wouldn't believe. And as a matter of fact, uh, within I think about the next two weeks, there's going to be a major, major upgrade to uh, uh, a thing that Precept is doing. Uh, they're actually in a beta version of doing it, and I'm participating in the beta. And it's, I think it's going to be actually a really cool tool once we get it down and see how it's going to be working. And so in a couple, of three weeks, I'll probably come back and say, hey, here are some things that are happening and uh, and tell you all about it then, okay? Well. So um, everybody's got everything working right here. Uh, like I was telling, uh, I think, Lisa earlier, we're probably going to have about 10 or 11 uh, people participating here online, but there's already, I know, a couple of folks that have two or three there in a the room with them, so that's great. And uh, so it's going to be, you know, a small class. It's going to be something where we can just share. We'll be able to talk. We'll be able to speak. Also, we got a separate page set up for this thing where we can carry on discussion throughout the week. And so if you've got any questions about anything, please feel free to uh, shoot emails over to me or post it on that uh, page. Uh, other people in the class will answer. We'll talk. We'll just, uh, it's just going to be an ongoing kind of thing. So just always feel free to contact me. Uh, oh, let me tell you a little bit about myself. I'm Dale. I live in uh, Alabama, and I was actually born and raised here, but spent about 22 years off. Uh, did the usual, went off to college and went off to grad school and that kind of stuff, and spent about uh, 14 years in the Miami and Fort Lauderdale area. And so, uh, but then came back home several years back, and uh, I have uh, four daughters and uh, two of which I still live down in the Fort Lauderdale area, uh, one of which is actually being discharged right now at this very moment uh, from a hospital <clears throat> where she had uh, open heart surgery, had two valves replaced, but uh, she's doing great. And then I've got one daughter that lives close by, and then i got another one that lives on the coast of uh, North Carolina. So i got four daughters, and got and we have um, nine grandkids of... Uh, all sorts of ages, from the age of, I don't know, what, 15 months, I think, up through 17 years of age. And so uh, we have been blessed with kids, which is great. And so uh, I do a little bit of everything. I, I pastor a local church, but I'm also the worship leader at that church. And uh, uh, I teach piano lessons, teach a lot of piano lessons, uh, teach piano lessons online. I have students across the United States, and so I teach Bible studies locally and teach precept online and also do a couple of local television programs and um, play in a couple of other bands. Uh, uh, you know, it's life, right? We all do all sorts of different things. So I'm just so excited about y'all uh, joining together and being here. So uh, uh, do you have any other questions you'd like to ask? I do have one. Um, mm -hmm. If we're not able to get in on time or something like that, are these recorded to where we can still participate, and of course, we participate through the discussions and stuff. Or oh yeah, yes, yes. Great question, great question. Um, yeah, it's, and, and trust me, folks, we all know how these things go. Okay, uh, if you find that you're unable to make a particular uh, class time, like right now, or if you're if you're coming in late, always feel free to jump in. Okay, because we're always, you know, we're rushing in from work. We're doing this, we're doing that, and so feel free to jump in anytime you can. Uh, we do record. Uh, the classes and the recordings are put up on the precept uh, website and what happens is uh, when we get done with the class uh, usually that evening maybe by the next day 
you'll get an email from me, and it will have a link to uh, of that site where you can view it. The problem with that is that it uh, it only stays up there for about a week. So what I do is um, I take them and I download them, and then I convert them into another format or two, and then I put them in different places. I put them up on my website. And uh, that way, you can access it anytime. So say it's like four or five days later before you can get to it. Well, you'll you'll be able to go to my website. And I've also, in, a, in the last couple of classes I've been teaching, I've been putting those files on a Dropbox. And so I usually create a, a little file place for uh, each class. And if you want to use a Dropbox, uh, if you're not familiar with that, I can tell you about it. But it's just basically a place where you can store files and you can access it. And particularly for the, uh, the preset classes and things like that, it's a good place to store all the resources you might use. And so I'll put all these files on something like that, and then you can uh, access it anytime you want to. If it's six months from now and you want to go back and listen to what somebody said about a particular thing, uh, you'll be able to do it then. Uh, so you'll be able to listen to it through preset for about a week or two, and then I put it in different places uh, to where you can access it anytime. Uh, also, uh, you can be pretty creative. Uh, who was it? Uh, uh, Lisa, I think, is at work. Yeah, Lisa's at work right now during break. And she said there may be times when she can just listen, but she can't really talk too much. I've actually done that several times. I've participated in some of these classes and have actually done the last time while I was driving down I-95 to Fort Lauderdale, for instance. And one time I was going across I-20 across South Carolina. And it was just listening. I actually had the teacher say, Dale, you're not saying much. I said, well, I'm driving right now, you know. But my favorite one was I did one of the classes one time from 36,000 feet over El Paso, Texas. I was flying to California. And I thought I was actually going to miss the class, but I was on a plane that had Wi-Fi. And so uh, uh, I pulled out my computer and just did the class. You know, you can do them on phones. You can do them on computers. And uh, so it's really amazing, uh, very much a Daniel 12 thing. We'll talk about that sometime. So, um, any other questions? Or did that answer your question? <laughs> that answered it. Great. Thank you. Great, great. I see uh, Cassandra is, is joining us. Cassandra, I know you can hear me because I heard myself. <laughs> Good. Anyone, Good. Else, Anyone have else have a question? Let me show you a couple of logistic things right here, just real quick, too. On your chat thing, and I think most of y'all have taken classes before, but on your right above your chat, you'll see a little uh, yellow or golden hand right there. If I'm ever talking or if we're chattering along and you want to ask something, and uh, usually people don't have to use them too much because we just talk back and forth, but you can raise your hand right there. You know, raise your hand to uh, uh, get my attention, everybody else's attention. Also, I've already noticed that most of you know how to use that little thing right to the right of your uh, name right there. Like right now, Cassandra, I'm about to unmute you. There you go. There you go. Uh, uh, I, yes, sir. I, I muted uh, Cassandra because I'm hearing an echo of myself right there. But uh, Cassandra, can you talk to us a second? Let me hear what you sound like. Unmute yourself right there. Or is it Cassandra? Cassandra. It looks like Cassandra. How are you doing? How are you doing? Still experimenting Still a little experiment bit. Still experimenting a little bit. Yeah, no, I just muted her because I was getting feedback. I think she's still working with it. Good. Um, anything else? Any other questions? Well, let me tell you what I want to do. Uh, I'm going to pray for us right here real quick, okay? And then I'm going to turn the recording off, okay? But don't leave yet because we'll still be able to talk and everything, but I'll just have the recording turned off, and I'm going to show you a couple of things real quick. So, Father, I thank you uh, for the... Uh, the time that you've given us, even this evening, Lord, just to walk through some logistical things and try to figure out how to do some stuff. Lord, I thank you even more for your grace, for your mercy that you have poured out upon us. And, Lord, I ask that as we uh, 
uh, delve into this study together right here, that you will teach us, that you will show us your truth. Uh, Father, we really don't want to know what everybody else thinks, what everybody says. We want to know what you say. And so, Lord, I just really speak your blessing forth upon each one that's going to be in this uh, gathering. Lord, that you would give us your enlightenment, your illumination, and your understanding. Uh, Lord, I do lift up my daughter, Lindsay, and I ask, Lord, that you would just continue to touch her. I thank you for what you have walked her through right here. And, Lord, I pray that she will have eyes to see and ears to hear. And that, Father, that you will give her a very, very rapid recovery from this procedure. Uh, Lord, we just thank you and we bless you now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen.